Right, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, today, the 15th of December, 2021, it's a Wednesday on the calendar, and we've got a very special program. So the 15th of December, 2021, on the Den and Now Media Empire, I'm your host and presenter, Prince Emil Komade Kamto on a live, on a very, very important program. Fambulem, let just give a quick background before I come to we guest briefly. So if we notice, now we country, the Republic of Sierra Leone, we're lying at the west coast of Africa. There are some developments politically, socially, and economically where they go on, but mostly on the political front. One of the challenges that we faced quite recently is that of um, a census. In other words, we call them um, a midterm census. This midterm census don't create some um, division of the country as usual. Everything political in the country is almost um, caught either in the middle, but the bottom line is there are always division. So time ago, the president of the republic, we get the right for declare a midterm census, did actually declare a midterm census. But the term census not go down well with other players, them stakeholders, them not the society. And so therefore, there were many complaints from many fronts, dissuasions, people that will not agree, dissenting voices, and et cetera, say, procedures, Mr. President, you have got the right to declare a midterm census for their procedures. <clears throat> and if those procedures are not followed, then it becomes questionable. On this basis, therefore, Many people have raised their voices against this particular mid census, including the opposition party. We get many, many people them in them in their ranks. But today we want to talk not about much more about the political side. We might talk maybe a few seconds, few minutes about the political side, just on speculation, because my guest today I not know one for be the political kind of person. So we want to look at from a professional perspective. So in this regard, Fambulem, I want to let we use the then and now media empire, the cultural thing we then can do for welcome with very, very special guest today. We happen for be a former statistician of statistics, Sierra Leone. We know exactly what they talk about, where they separate the myth from the reality. And is none other but Mr. Amadou Bori. Mr. Bori, welcome <coughs> to the program then and now, sir, for the very first time. Okay, Mr. Prince Kuruma, I want to appreciate you once more. And at first, I want to extend my greeting to my lovely Sierra Leoneans and also extend my greeting to everybody all over the world. Of course, me and uh, Amadou Bori, I still is right in Kenema, as I speak to one at the quiet Nami Bongalu. And then I'm a quiet corner, relax, and I'm in bed. Forget this interview to now. Naturally, I did talk from the professional point of view. As a senior most statistician, when a former staff and terminated staff who recently been terminated by the then government with no half feeling, I don't get anything against anybody because job is all about give and take. You can have it today, then tomorrow you lose it. But hence, you are very strong enough, you can achieve another one in the making. But with my previous experiences at Statistics Reunion, presently, I have the capability and the ability to serve in various capacity to do any other job based on my research consultant who I get now, based on my research ideas they will get. So I've been a former staff of Statistics Reunion. I don't spend over five to six, seven years there now, constantly. And everything about statistics really is they up here. I get an all I'm a man tool now. I the pass with and strongly. So whatsoever I can deliver here, I want to tell the whole world, saying that the right truth and uh, for the peacefulness of this country and uh, for the betterment of the development of Sierra Leone. I want to appreciate you again say I welcome you once again. Thank you for that um, introduction of yourself, Mr. Bori. And that's exactly what the people expected. So we know say. The person who we talk today, devoid of the politics, is much more like the professional person. So, Fambulala Colon Una, Una, please let me shape the program. Shall we do the needful? Shall we do what um, um, Den and Now can always ask for? 
let we shape the program, let people can hear it for themselves. So we're going to just hear it from now a brief background of the guest who we get today. What happened for me, Mr. Amadou Amam Bori? A man we don't have um, statistics here Leo, in different capacities, but what we can say in a professional capacity. So that's exactly what you want to talk about. Mr. Bori, um, yes. I don't want to speculate. I don't want to assume, neither presume, what you think, because of course you are the professional, but you know the brouhaha way surrounding this entire talk about statistics lately in the Republic of Sierra Leone. Will you express your sentiment as to what you think, what you feel about the ongoing predicament where we find ourselves regarding um, census um, in the country? All right, at first, I, still, I continue to extend my thanks and appreciation to you, Mr. Prince Koroma. But at first, I just want to tell the public out there, say, the census introduced by the president of this country, I can want to say it was not just introduced by the president. The president just made the pronouncement, but not in way statistics Sierra Leone presently don't table and say this, we need to take them to the president and tell us that this we want exactly for make it happen. In that situation, we expect say the government say for don't look into eye for the expect say people then for don't buy up the ideas people like who and people like which category the the opposition parties them the other political members them the other stakeholders that are that are necessary to be involved they all for don't tie up exactly for make sure say this particular census it go down well but naturally from the political point of view I just want to when I say perhaps they have their own ideology. Maybe they have their own thinking, their own thinking. Maybe they get any other way we if you say the one go their own their own census. But generally, I want to make it clear to the public and generally for me, everybody understands it. In the constitutional act of Sierra Leone, we don't ever get what we call a midterm census. In the act of statistics Sierra Leone 2002, we don't ever get a language or neither a word that's spelled as midterm census. The only census we'll get a like national census. We, of course, they go in for every 10 years. We expect say they will count everybody in a Sierra Leone, which of course is timely. And these are the things exactly where Sierra Leone and they expect. So if you hear any other political parties, other stakeholders, other people involved, civil activists, people are grumbling all over the corner that no, this census is not needful. Now, because of one. Yes, perhaps they may say, they say the government get the right for call on census at any time. But you can do it. If you don't say self yes, then you write for Duam as a president. We know the problem. But the professional point of view here, as I'm saying, as Mr. Bori, me only to idea what I get the statistics value, I and they expect say one, it can for be very, very, very democratic. It can for introduce this strategy for me, everybody buy up the ideas. Because the president will be a very good listener. The president will be somebody where if he say, whenever I say anything, nobody knows for go beyond them. People will really act by a mandate when it is constitutional. We know they expect people always for the deviate from what the constitution of Sierra Leone say, especially when we talk about midterm census under the constitutional act of Sierra Leone. They always say census, now every 10 years we for the commence census in this country. That is point clear. It they now the heirs of every layman at the down villages. They know that the census, now accounting process, we of course deal with development in this country, and none of a political research institution, now independent body on its own, whenever they want to conduct census, they for make sure say the last man at the village must be aware. And when he are aware, immediately now he right for participate. So this situation of introducing the midterm census, it is, it, 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 it is actually disagreed by the people of this country. It is actually disagreed by political members. It is actually disagreed by civil activists. And we as professionals, we don't look at the professional point of view, see, now they don't say midterm census. If they say the government has the right to introduce it, but the publicity is really, really lack. Statistics clearly only did this publicity when they noticed that the government has already made this pronouncement. And you cannot declare, you cannot make this public, uh, publicity downwardly to the people when you know it is just two days to the census, then immediately you introduce it. It means it is against the will, it is against the law. Some people go say, we know even and we are, and even the due processes, what oh, they expect the statistics for them to take, they're not ever take them. They're not ever take them. Because naturally, as we all know, from a statistical point of view, as I'm saying, I'm not a politician, 
but it's because of the, 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 the right as, as a citizen of this country for speak the right truth, at least for make we able to understand what censors mean and how censors will go like. Naturally, as we say, whenever statistics we are only one for introduce censors in this country, as we all know, it is time to time, we're not 10 years to 10 years. The first thing we're there for observe, we call out, they forget a preparedness and readiness for two years consecutively. These two years consecutive preparedness and readiness should be there. And what are the things that are involved within these two years preparedness and readiness? One, then get for prepare a supplementary two. When then they take to the parliament, the parliament are there representing their people at local district, local uh, constituencies, and all the rest. They are there to discuss issues. Now they get for talk on important issues, then waiting exactly they happen. Now they get for agree and disagree. When they disagree, a national census, as soon as they disagree, immediately it is the right of the president to summon a meeting with immediate effect, at least forget the mind. When you don't get the mind, immediately you go know who are these people, why they disagree, and why they didn't, they didn't disagree. And you get for no, you get for present something. Everybody see them. But as a professional, you do not go believe we conducted census 2015. Then according to the speech made by the president of this country, His Excellency Julius Madabio, he said it that one, there are, we are localities, type three localities, which we are left out. And these type three localities is where we get like two, three, four, five villages make up an EA, and which we call this EA as enumeration area. But by virtue of that definition, that there we are the localities that left out, believe it, my brother, the individual that conducted this census 2015 is the same individual that is still there as the, by, by the name called Andrew Bob Johnny, ruling this particular 20, uh, 20, uh, 21 census, uh, 2021 census again. You understand? How does that make sense? If you want a midterm census to be introduced, we are expecting you to actually expect our statistics for you to prepare a solidified document, present it to government, present it to the parliament, explain exactly what was the problem made uh, on 2000, uh, 20, 2015. You have to explain it. People need to understand. Explain to the grassroots. They have to understand. Take, go to the local chiefs. Go to the local people. They have to understand exactly. Why do you want to introduce this midterm census? But nothing okay. was done. They don't ever explain nothing like that. They just go ahead okay. for take up the power to their hands and decide on it. But this is a professional institution. It's about an independent research institution. They should not be connected to any political party. It is avoidable. Okay. We're not forever consider them. Okay, Mr. Bori, many thanks for that. And Fambule Munakieri, the man who they talk to is a professional, work for statistics, from the very beginning of this conversation for a number of years. He's a professional, he's a graduate, he fits the bill, he meets the bill. But I've been mean, trying to avoid, especially at this earlier point, you know, the politics and the nature of this particular conversation. But it's game on. So therefore, the gloves are off, and let's talk. Let's talk about it. So, um, uh, Mr. Bori, you made many, many things clear, and I can understand if I go say the frustration. Therefore, forgive me probably for the lack of um, the use of appropriate words, but the um, um, frustration because if are you profession and you were trained for many years and you see I mean they go down the drain, then of course you go exercise and express that frustration there. But waiting, I want to let you broke down to with the people them. You don't partly do one, but I want to let we focus on that. When we talk about um, um, census and housing, population, counting, census as a whole, what in that exactly mean? I know you talk about the period in which the census can be conducted and all other things them way involved. And midterm census, even though I get a question for you, the president get a right for call for a midterm census, which you object to. But briefly, if you can just talk about what in the census mean when they call for census, what does that represent in a country? All right, census generally, not the counting of statistics, Sierra Leone, when they can do every 10 years. And census purely they about capturing the number of people living in the country. And this count, counting way that they do, you know, all they captured at mature stage, 
with a look at the downstage from zero to five years and upwards. I let them deliver you today from bed immediately. When we go for go do census, it is our right to capture you with immediate effect. And there is nobody who should be left behind for him or her not to be counted. That is out of it. We have to rule it out because census is about national development. When you fail to count you, it means you are not part of our developmental processes. It is the right of every civilians to be counted when it is timely and when also they follow the due processes. When all these due processes are followed, it is the right for every Sierra Leoneans to be counted. Because the important part of the census is when this number is being presented to international partners or donor partners, that shows exactly that the Sierra Leone number has increased and censuses captures various categories and sectors of life. That shows it. If you don't say you get about uh, 50 students the way that they attend government school and 50 students where they attend private school because census they capture then categories they are. And then data are now they present to donor partners. Donor partners will be able to know exactly how to involve within it. You understand? If you don't talk, say, now the number of people in this way, this is they go to school at all not. But what it then depend on? Are they traders? Are they skilled workers? Or they are not employed? Because censors, they capture labor category. Who are these people employed? Who are these people that are not employed? The category of disability, the censors, they capture all landing. The number of structures, the categories of structures, even those bin, how we the trade, we waste, we, waste, we waste them. All in the censors, they capture them. If you know, say exactly, you they reject the census counting, it means it, has, it is at your default. And now the right of every citizen to be counted. It is natural that the census is about the counting processes for, for, for it to be helpful and developmental for we in this country. And that two government they use for presenters to donor partners them, for make them know say the needs is actually arising, that the needs is actually important. And since we have been counted, because in statistics, we get a simple code there, and the code will get in statistics. If you fail to count it, you can't measure it. That the show say, if you don't know the number of picking away get na us, believe it, you're not going to be able to know how much corporates you measure for them. You need for Sabi, if na five picking you get na yours, you need for no say, this five picking them, now this amount of cup of rice are for the cook for the morning ten, now for the cook for the sun ten, now for the cook for the evening ten. But if you fail to measure it, you can never count it. So it is okay. important for all Sierra Leoneans to be part and parcel of the national census in this country. Brilliant stuff. Many, many thanks. And um, let I just go straight to the chat room. And um, my brother and friend, Mr. Edward Amara, um, a man who, I'm who I've come to know, I mean, not personally, but do know him. Um, he said, Mr. Bori, you seem to talk <coughs> more of practicalities instead of the professional aspect. Can you please tell us more about the professional part? And I think this is what you've done. So I read the brother in thoughts earlier on, even before I read the comments for C. And okay. I believe you have addressed part of that as at this time. But here is the thing, Mr. B uh, Bori. If you say there is a commitment and an obligation on the part of government for capture then data there, which go reflect on how government they distribute the wealth of the country, then mm -hmm. what is wrong if the president or the authority responsible say, well, we need to understand the nature of we people them, how then they, so that we were able for equally distribute the wealth of the country. Do you have a problem with that? I only have problem with the due processes. I do have problem with the government proclamation. Is it the right of the government to decide whatever thing he think is necessary to do? Except otherwise, it doesn't play with our constitutional mandate. But now the right for the government for able to decide on which part or which role to play. But here is the situation. The president of this country is not a statistician. He doesn't know anything but what exactly is happening within statistics in Leon. Neither, neither, neither was honest by Coroma. Uh, exactly. Exactly, because politics is quite different than governance. When you've been a politician, 
uh, of course, it's quite different than governance. So since you've been a politician, when you rule uh, exactly the state, you must know exactly you are ruling the state for not only a political party, but for the whole citizen of this country. So you need to understand, say, the, 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 the present government and the past government and any other government, they're not forever bring them party business into statistics business. Because in statistics, Reliun, there we have professionals, people of independent body that do things by, 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 by themselves professionally. At the end of the day, they will present a correct and responsible data to the government, at least when they will be used for planning and the betterment of this country. You understand? So whenever the government say that this way exactly I want to make a go, which in Nenge for do as a professional, is their right exactly to put in the structures. And the structures are there to guide the president. And when they put in the structures, immediately the government is being guided totally, entirely. Then is a go able know in your footing or how it go able step in immediately. But if the statistics are real, all the people there are not giving the right guide to the president and show the president exactly the stepping process on how the census should go like, it means they are flouting the situation. And it's about the country development. I'm not here to debunk, uh, debunk the president that says, no, it is not meant to be. No, I'm talking about the professional method in which statistics should implement. The professional method in which statistics should introduce to the president what they should tell the president to do. What are their advices? In that situation, immediately, people can understand their point of view. You understand? And naturally, people have understood in this country that census should be commenced every 10 years. So the expectations of people in this country now is 10 years. So if you want to get any review to that system, the most important thing you should do, it is your right now to call on meetings, call local chiefs, involve other people, discuss with them, tell them exactly how the importance of it. If they buy up the ideas about midterm census, then we can go into it. But you cannot just come in one day like and call people say, okay, now next week we have to do midterm census. It is very, very unpredictable. You can't do that. It is beyond expectation. And professionally, you can't do it because statistics really we expect say, really when you want to conduct census, when it is timely, you need to present it. And people they say are so new because of the name, that name midterm. It is very new and very strange to the people of this country. Even me, it is new and strange to me since I've been there. The only statement and the guide the word we have as statistics is uh, the only one we have that is about previewing. That is to say, we need to do updating. Any information we will not say we need, we need to go back to the ground because a particular survey has been done in those things. So whenever we want to capture more information as an additional, or whether we get any leftover, we need to go do a review. That okay. review, the areas that we know that are lack, is not about you using country money or use alone money or taxpayers' money again and do the whole system countrywide. It doesn't okay. work so. Okay, Mr. Bori, Mr. Bori, I want to go back to um, the professional side of things. But before I go there quickly, I, I just wish you could answer this question just briefly. Has the president right. of the republic get right for declare or call for a midterm census? That's the mandate of the constitution. They say it's not midterm census, but call the word census. The president has the right when it is timely, that is 10 years to 10 years, or any other. If the president gets any doubt by the other side, he can decide that they call for census. And when they call for census, should no, 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 hang, hang on. Sorry, sorry, sorry again, Mr. Bori, for butting in. I know they ask for okay. all of that explanation because you've made it clear. My question to you, brother, yeah. is has the president of the republic at the time, such as we speak right now, the president of the republic is his excellency julius madabio has he Madabiu. got the right to call for a midterm census no he got the right to call for census but the definition midterm is the is a big convincing word to the rest of Sierra Leoneans. no no they i don't uh, uh, um, hang, on, hang, on, hang on hang on sir um not to that politics day i want for go into i want for draw you away from that politics day i want for deal with okay. the professionalism in you seven years of service in statistics Leon. there is plenty of knowledge and experience where you get so i want to take you away exactly. from the politics 
the intentions, the speculations, the assumptions. That's what I want to take you away from. The bottom line is, whether the president they play with the word, he's got a right for call for a midterm census as he sees it fit. But just that, there are procedures to be followed. Can we agree on that? Exactly. Exactly, okay. I agree. Okay, thank you. Um, thank you very much. So on this basis, what I want to let you do for Fambule and for explain to me how this census process can work from that point day. I know say you don't do one, but I want to let we do one methodically because it's a kind of a journey. And I want to let we take with listenership, with viewership on this journey where we they try for take. How does it work? So the president called for a midterm census or take the president away from that. How does the entire census process work? What do you intend for capture? How will they capture? What do you eventually capture? And how will you capture the work in the benefit of the entire population? All right. And uh, in that situation, I just want to make it clear again to the people out there. Say, for the 2015 census, where we conduct now this country, Sierra Leone, before we conduct the 2015 census, it gets a due process. And the due process is where it entails. At first, when the president, then it become president of this country, the first thing where they consider, they get to send a representative council head in Statistics Sierra Leone. And this representative council head where they send a statistics value, he should be the council chairman and other prominent institution backing up with them for day day as the president in I. That no one. Then secondly, the president has the right to make an appointment of the statistician general of statistics value that should be there to be in charge of all data information and analyzing processes. The statistics value. That is another step. Then the thirdly, the president, uh, we all know see statistics value generally is being supervised by Ministry of Development and Economic Planning. That is clear again. Then from that procedure, now if we talk about the census generally, we all know that this country say census is being commenced after every 10 years. The 2015 census was actually should be conducted the 2014, from 2014. But the reason why they push them from 2014 to 2015, now because of the epidemic disease called Ebola. So when we begin that Ebola, it not be timely exactly for more conduct the census, right? But before you come to the census, if you make sure say you prepared an instrument you forget the census instrument that should be well prepared and taken to parliament. When you can't go to parliament, there yeah. exactly you get forget people who get for argue them out for tell the necessity and the importance of it. If it's whether it's timely or it's not timely, when they discuss it, if they have their majority on it, immediately it is the right of the president to make his announcement. From that important part, when they move on, if it is acceptable at parliament, they get to bring them back to statistics review. Statistics review get to consider a first processes, what we call the geomapping system. And the geomapping system, now for make sure, say, you map the whole country. How you do this mapping process? The mapping process is the target from regional level, you the target from district level, you the target from chief down level, from sectional level, then also to an enumeration area when I weigh the cotton from smaller portion to smaller portion. And the mapping process is not about you counting the rest number of people in the country. No, the mapping process is just to determine everywhere exactly Sierra Leoneans are living. Now we write for go capture them under the mapping process. And the people generally will look for under the mapping process, one we consider the demographic landscape under the mapping process. We they consider the number of structures under the mapping process. They also we they capture the household head within structures. And we get a limit of this category of people, which we call the household head, people that are responsible for pot. Generally, okay, put it that way. People that wear the feed, people that are host. These are family head. 
These are people we capture. Because for me to present the census roster, it is my right to go and ask the eligible somebody that has the brain, the knowledge that can respond to the census question. So he should be the first person. And in the mapping process, we have what we call structure listing. The structure listing are all parts, are all side attractions to, the, to, to guide the census process. So you need to do a structure listing on them. And you need to make sure, say, no village is left over. No village is left. You get to make sure so you capture all the villages. You get to make sure so you do the corrections of all abnormalities. That is the situation about the mapping process. When we don't move from the mapping process, you get to bring down the mapping too. And during the 2015 census, we do mapping process 2013. 2013, we begin mapping process. 2014, we were still in the field for all the pandemic went between at that field. We were there, taking the challenge, taking the risks for our beloved Sierra Leone. Okay. Members of our core even died beyond that. You okay. understand? Because of the challenge. But we are very happy because it is for the lives of Sierra Leoneans. Okay. We are very happy for taking the challenge. And the, so we move. I'm coming, sir. Let me just explain all the processes. Maybe you understand okay. well. Okay. We okay. move from that category, from the mapping processes, we get to bring the two now and decide for create a map we, of course, we get the shape five maps from EA level. We get for quarter into smaller portions. And we think will lead to the cutting of smaller portion. We get what we call the household range. That is from 80 to 120. For example, I have the right to use Porti as a case study. In Porti, it might be possible based on the counting of the household head from our courts like five to six, seven EA. When an enumeration area, because one person cannot be able to count like five uh, uh, enumeration area. Every one enumerator deserves one enumeration area. That is to say, we have a council count, 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 count heads from 80 to 120. We not say you're not going to be able to tap on that job. You can be able to do it within two weeks time, where you're able to get the correctness and the awardness of that particular job. So we design the maps then into category. And those maps are well prepared, and also we decide to attach a description to the maps. Because in Sierra Leone or generally countrywide, not everybody they will visa a do and a geography. There are some people who don't know exactly how to study map, but we decide to make it into a reading form for showing you exactly how to do an entry point into these EAs. Because if you fail to read the maps, you can easily read the notes. Reading the notes can lead you exactly to the community for you to go and access those people that have been captured from the mapping process, for you to, uh, for you to consider exactly how the census to capture everybody within those communities. So from that light, after we don't prepare the maps, we don't do the description attached to it. It is the right for make statistics to take in time and do the advertisements for okay. census. Okay, I want to let you hold on. I want to let you hold on right there because you you've said quite a lot, and I know a lot of people are following what you're saying. But we're not just one for make a mistake or jump over a gap. So therefore, if you allow me to pause you, ladies and gentlemen, oh, no problem. today is a very very special occasion. I mean, mostly as you are now the fifteenth of December, twenty twenty one, and we're having a very special guest, a professional guest. There is some politics in what we are talking about, but largely what I want we, the audience, for pay attention to is the professional side of what the brother they talk about. This brother has been with Statistics Sierra Leone, and he spent over seven years with this particular Statistics Sierra Leone. Um, Sierra Leone. And what he is talking about something with the experience, and other experience they have been want, hopefully we can capture, and then he share with the rest of us. But then we they come back to that and we want to say thank you to Ram. Also, what I want to let you remember, the reports don't come all, FY 2020. In other words, we can call them um, um, a fiscal year. FY, just representative in the calendar of accountancy, fiscal year, 2020 don't come out. Most of us are not disappointed because we be know what we go come out and we see in the lead up to the release of this particular important document, which is a government document, 
even though some people can try for dismiss them, is we find out, see, there is more corruption. I know a lot of people will not like me saying this, but what you will be saying here is just fact. So I'm not making up this story. It's just a fact that eventually, when the report comes out, the fiscal year 2020 report of the Auditor General, we find out that there is more corruption. There is more money spending on accountability process. Same thing where people have been done, they look forward to. Now it happened for play out. And then in all of this mix, the accountant general, in other words, the auditor general, was suspended. So now we ask, but well, why was she suspended? Is it because of what come out? Even though they say the report not even complete because it's been doctored. And we expect the full report because we, before Madame Lara Taylor Pias, they go on, um, um, on leave in which they get a tribunal now where they try them. And in fact, what's in the effectiveness of the tribunal when the report make other people them for be the aggressor. The government in this case is the aggressor. So much money missing and unaccountable for. Where are these monies? Why are they unaccountable for? Is it why you suspended the Auditor General and even the report not complete? Fambule Muna keep an eye out tomorrow because before the Mamidi go on suspension, of course, she had a blueprint. She's the author of the report, all within a supplier and in good faith for the country, she presented it. And then now we find out, see, that the government is found wanting. Another thing I want for Leona know, don't get distracted because this has been the pattern or is the pattern of the government. Every time there is something of a bombshell coming out, then they create this space and distraction, such as the arrest of Femi Claudio Skoll, who only escorted under the laws. There is no disregard. There is no aggression. There is no nuisance. There is nothing against you escorting your fellow citizen to a court of law with someone or the CID, for example, with someone. That's all she did. She escorted somebody and she in turn got arrested. For what? We still wait for why they arrest them. We knew that they were going to release her. But in fact, nobody is celebrating because we know that it's going to happen again. Claudius Femi Cole is going to be arrested again. All of these things, we've been predicting it. But tonight, um, we get a special guest. So therefore, we'll save me the time because I'll be one go into some kind of um, um, soliloquy, if you will like. But we get a guest and we get for respect the guest. But it seems like a pattern. So what thing we want for ask the guest as at this particular point in time is, um, I hope you're hearing me, um, uh, Mr. Bori. Are you hearing us, sir? Yeah, loud and clear. Thank you very much. And sorry, oh, but there is so much for catch up with and tell with people them about that. Sometimes they we can stray away. Okay. Um, yes, there are certain steps for that we follow. And it's not like you know don't deal with them, but just that we not ask the specific questions so that we listen to them, go able for following, so that then they in tune, in lockstep with what you they talk. But there are certain steps for follow in statistics, stati uh, statistics. Are we not following those steps as we speak now, waiting at the bone of contention? If you understand and I repeat, waiting at the bone of contention with these statistics, because with the say people and they say, we won't allow ourselves to be counted. Other people and say, we will be counted. What exactly is going on? <laughs> I want to send a very big pity to civilians if it happens that way. A pity very seriously, because um, anything by right to the count in terms of development, naturally, when you look at it, if it is timely and it is well structured, there is no right for any Swalinians to deny. I don't even want to talk anything deviated myself for going to anything like politics, right? But I want to make you know one thing. <laughs> the reasons why the politicians then decide say we are not going to allow this midterm census. From a professional point of view, it is because 2014, the census was not captured because of the Ebola. Then the census was captured 2015. Then 2015, 
the result of census 2015 was announced 2016. You understand? And 2016, when we presented the results directly to the states, what they did, this document was summoned directly to NEC. NEC looked into this document, then they extracted the eligible voters from 18 years and above from the total population presented from statistics. So within 2017, there are, we are technical staffs that brought from statistics to NEC as cartographic mappers. They went to NEC within 2017, look within this document that has been prepared for statistics to Leon, and they serve as technical staff also with regards to the boundary delimitation. And boundary delimitation process was considered within 2017. So again, 2017, again, again, no, no, hang on right there. <laughs> what are what you would do? What you would try for doing at the platform now for teach a little bit. Boundary, exactly. these are all technical terms. And okay, because we talk to them, exactly. boundary delimitation. <laughs> what exactly that they mean, brother? Break, break them down for we. Because today is right. a teaching moment, and luckily for we, we get a professional online. Okay, I want to apologize for that. To the That's all right. <laughs> for making them understand. The professionals always we look for involved with professionalism, but by virtue of it, might just break them down, make everybody understand. When we talk about boundary delimitation, it's an assessment tool used by NEC. Now, NEC get right to give the mandate for any boundary delimitation. But statistics Sierra Leone always police the technicality into boundary delimitation. And boundary delimitation now for court, then constituency and create word. And then constituency are all they create. Now, for we honorable them. Then what they are all they create. Now, for we cancel us them. Because, like for example, Kenema, you get 11 constituents was created by the boundary delimitation. Now for men and cut them by portion. And the number we use for create boundary delimitation and neck was 40,000 at lower limits. The higher limit, now 44,000. And what we the talk is registered uh, uh, eligible voters from 18 years and above, that 40,000 to 44,000. What would they create a constituency with? Not a total population, no. Mm. Now that constituency, oh, now who that them will not say they don't reach the age for vote. When that measure, next step they use for no exactly those that have been registered or non-registered. Because next step need for validate that particular information for you able to build on the constituencies and the world. At the end of the day, then get for call on local council elections. Yep. And this local council elections was done within the period of 2017, as we all know. Then immediately 2018, we come to the national election, when at the presidential. Yeah. So it means all these processes, the other side of uh, politics, they look at and say, oh no, now we already don't know since 2022 they come. We they expect Nancy, we for them they begin to do local council election now, campaign for them, they, they all lent in and they, you understand? I'm saying this out of professional level. Please, I'm not a politician. Then they look at that then way, then they announce, we they expect 2022, we for them they begin consider local council election. There should have been a campaign date, more begin consider all lent in and they. Then 2023, we come to presidential. So if the president now decides, say, now we want to do census, and census, it takes about time. It should not be just immediate. Within one great day, you go prepare that result, you send them. No, you get a lot of things where you get for looking to census. Just a, a quick, just a quick, just a quick catch up. If the president then decide, are they paraphrase your own statement, say we get yeah. for do census. And here is my question advantages and disadvantages. Why would we want to commission a census midterm in the middle of a census? Uh, with that area, if the president I mean, just the, just the, just the, I know they put you on the spot. I just, they ask about the possibilities. Remember, we just, they talk about the possibilities. Assuming you were in such a critical position and then when they call for a midterm census, what would be the advantages and the disadvantages? We know say we want to people them. Now for let everything, 
like the wealth or the spoils of the state, let other people then benefit. That's what I'm asking about advantages and disadvantages. No, like, like, like seriously, if I should have been at Statistics Sierra Leone and I'm part of the technical committee, I should have even advised, you know, Mr. President, let's hang on because the census processes entails a lot. It has a step-by-step -step processes. We should not just go into it with the immediate effect. They expect us to bring up results. You understand? Anybody tell you say census not get nothing for do with election is a big lie. Census okay. gets nothing for okay. doing hang with election. Okay, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on right there. Hang on right there, Mr. Bori. This is exactly the direction that I'm going. But the president <laughs> is more it is more is more informed than you in many respects because they get this battery of advisors and what have you when they mm -hmm. tell us of step, course. step in the way. Yeah, exactly. So that means the president is informed. So if the president make a choice, it is an informed choice. Will you agree with that? For me, I have to. I have no options because he's the president, he owns the state. We are just people behind him. So whatsoever decision he made. Now you're right for now. Now in the rule the state. I have nothing to say, whether I debunk his ideology or not. If I be then at the position for advice, I for don't give my own technical advice, say no, you should not go like that. As a professional point of view from statistics value. I for don't tell us say no, may not go this way. More take this other trend. But why you people they advise why, why you for me say no, Mr. President? Had you been one of his advisors, why you for me say no, Mr. President? No, no, go this way, no, go this way. Why would you? have done that? Because a census is not one day job. After doing the counting for 14 days, two weeks process, we have what exactly we call mopping up. Mopping up process go for like one week. We are in exactly, we are having some uh, some, some some phone calls, people we are calling, our numbers are statistics, we are all over the places, people we are calling me, they're not count me, it's all those things, you understand? And those people should be captured because we don't want to leave anyone behind. And after those processes, the next stage is what we call PES. The PES is about doing comparison. That is to say post-enumeration survey. PES, post-enumeration survey. The post-enumeration survey is a technical concern to the census. If I have done the census now, it is my right. For example, I've already been at the compound of Mr. Prince Kuruma. I've count you, but the information you gave to me as Mr. A, I have to send Mr. B again for the second time. That shows that we are not going to capture the whole town or the whole Sierra Leone, but we have to do some selected areas that are most of concern for you to go and do, to do the pretest, which is the post innovation survey, the pretest to see exactly if the question captured and uh, the, on the census was exactly the information that you brought. Because there must be some discrepancy, you understand? And we have to make those corrections that the people actually go to the ground and collect the right information. That's the reason why we also introduced the PES processes. That was the reason why the census result was not announced immediately as soon as we finished in 2015. We decided to do an extension because it carries a lot. So if I were an advisor to the president, I should have put in all the steps so Mr. President said, no, Mr. President, okay. I'm saying this out of professionalism. I'm saying this as a technical man. Let's do this. Let's do that. Okay. There are two aspects to this, in my opinion. There is the professional side and the political side. There are people who are attached to the political side, and there are people who are just outright professional. And to be honest with you, you do sound like the professional aspect of things and you kind of embody yourself to this particular profession. And so when you see it's been trashed, because that's exactly what's in the happen. A senior me, I know they fine. I know they yeah. fine. Yeah, okay, thank you, thank you very much. So you feel, you feel hurt by, you know, yeah, what you see the play out. Only if people had carried out, you know, the exercise to the letter, to the book, then every one of you guys, me, you- I'm Wichi, satisfied. Say again? Okay, me, you, and others will have been very, very happy because the exercise is being carried out to the letter. So here is the question for you, um, 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 Mr. Bori. We they talk about it then and now. So yesterday, that was the process that was carried out and you don't talk about um, a lot and it been carried a lot of credibility because why? There were senior actors, senior players, stakeholders, Everybody participated. In other words, what they try for say, 
The process mm. of census does not belong to one side of the country no more or one at end. all, at all, at all. Yeah, at, uh, yeah, yeah, exactly. By inclusion, inclusion. inclusion. Yes, by inclusion. inclusion. And everybody, when they talk about nationhood, national, exactly. or even exactly. on the outside, whether an international body, them, Irish aid, UNDP, the United Nations, um, um, EU, and you name it. All of them have to be a participant in this particular project. And when you come on the domestic front, you also have to have the NGOs, the CSOs, the interfaith communities, the police, every other incident. So it's a national project. But in this case, would you say that this is lacking? No, obviously it's lacking because even European Union decided to, to withdraw. You look at World Bank, they decided to withdraw. And what presently is happening, I mean, consider this again. Obviously, the government has the power. Anyhow, you look at them. For some I speak to me, people, then they listen. But trust me, the stakeholders who we call paramount chief, their people are more audible to them than any. You understand? And is it not possible? It's not even possible. For me, just a politician, just can't team up, say, I don't want my people to be counted. We, of course, not saying they even pull food for giving people them. The in chief go say, me, me, people them for counter. You understand? At the end of the day, what do you expect? But it's because the paramount chief, we are not involved. And usually, we are having regional meetings with the paramount Everybody chief. needs to be involved. District, yes. Everybody, okay. we have a socialization with them. Okay. Telling them exactly that these are the things you also should go and extend it to your people. They were okay. doing it. Okay, okay. Um, I, I get your point, and we will come back to that. But because with the fast, they run out of time. This is quite an interesting program, and I want to make them as possibly interactive as we can. So I want to go to the chat room. So there's a guy called Sajay Tengwe. Sajay Tengwe, I hope I pronounced that right, and I'm sure I yeah. got it right. Mm -hmm. This is not a comment. But this particular census is digital which means the data will be processed in a timely manner. What say you, Mr. Bori? Mr. Bori, are you there? Okay, I think we don't lost Mr. Bori briefly. So we will come back I, to I, him. I, I deal with you, I deal with you, I deal with you. You are you waiting to say about Mr. Tengwe? Yeah, exactly, I, I, I get you, I get you. The I think you get time if you don't get time, but did you get it? I get it, I get it, I get it exactly. Okay, so what say you then? <laughs> what say you? What say you? <laughs> I, want, I, want, I want to tell me, brother, say, by natural point of view, we they live in a technological world. It is possible we have upgradation in different technology. It is possible. During the, our past census, of course, we not use the digitalized method. We use the ant and the pen and paper. But I want to make you know, say, from the pen and paper, we are having these desktop computers, which of course we do an input system of every questionnaire from paper one to the last paper. We do an inputting system of everything. And when you take a look at exactly the census and fi final result, you see how exactly it is bulky and no information we are missing. They were within the threshold and every big category about census was captured. So let's avoid saying it was digital, it is not digital. It is not about it. The most important thing, people we are yearning 2015 for them to be counted. All over Sierra Leone, even okay, the okay. last village. Okay, the okay, map, okay. Coming, the mapping process again, we use a system which you call the GPS, the geographical process system. That machine is that to locate the villages or the area, wherever we go, we have to took the coordinate for that particular area. And if you fail to go there, it means you are not at the right point. And it is a false shot on you. Because the mapping process leaves the enumerators that are using this hard copy to go to the ground. Mr. And Bobby, the mapping process Mr. Bobby, using the GPS, it is very uh, difficult for us. Mr. Bori, we get yes, for sir. come back to a few things because we, we really don't really run out of time. And we want to keep this program and inside 60, 90 minutes. Right. Uh, probably, I, I don't intend for Congo beyond that. So I want to dedicate this time to respecting, recognizing the one that they partake now the chat room. So now just yeah. briefly. So now I'll go back again to the chat room. 
So we brought that again, Edward Amara is saying, Mr. Bori, now we are hearing that this time around, the census is a digital one, okay? Here things like data entering and even the post enumeration you were talking about are also done by the use of digital tools where all houses um, geo reference are uh, geo reference automatically. And I'll go further, probably there's another continuation, but I guess you know where they try for go. Or if you don't know, maybe we might wait where it continue with that. Geotition understand, and I hope you're listening. The program is interesting, we are learning. That's Abdul Kabo. Mr. Kabo, thank you very much. And you don't address Sajay Tenwe. And maybe Mr. Amara get a direct question we want to ask you for let you address. We'll All right, you're that. welcome. You're very, welcome. Very, oh, yeah, very, very interesting and educated brother. <laughs> Love the brother so much. Omar Banks, very interesting program. Isaac Bangura, we want an unbiased and a professional response with the truth, nothing but the truth. Junior Cabo, mm -hmm. hi, good evening, people. Mr. Cabo, good evening, sir, and respect to you, sir. Thank you for supporting this platform to the end of this world. Prince, not make you guess lost is part, is part, please. And I guess waiting, not done about that. Am I waiting for say, you mean they say something way, you mean they kind of follow. And uh, because of time constraints, you know, yeah, maybe I broke you away from that. So it a caution, Mila just left you for let you flow. Exactly, my flow. Uh, maybe, maybe <laughs> the brother be the crash, he be the go over the thing. So if you wanna left, I let go over the thing. Just humor. Come on, man. I love it so much. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, yes, the <laughs> former. Um, he said yes, he's a former staff of the organization, but mm, you need to move off politics and concentrate on the professional part. Yes, of course. Then are you that was addressed? Of course, too. yes, yes, of course. I'm on it. Haja Dumbuya, I'm not at the political young side. Man, I not this young man knows his stuff. That's you. That's a compliment from you. The young yeah, man thank knows you. his thank stuff. You very That's Arun Pape as well. But we tell Thank you us very much. ADA are dependent on population density of communities. Now, the technicality I want to go to, that's what I was looking mm -hmm. for. And this is from Brother Amara. So he says, tell us that the EA are dependent on population density of communities. Is this true? If it is true, why is it? Deal with this for me, please, if you will. Did you get it? The yeah, I got EA it. are dependent on population density of communities. All right. Um, I just want to tell me, brother, for say the EA at population density at community. I want to make you know when we talk about the population in terms of the EA, you can never classify the right figure unless the census capture it. The only area we determine the EA, when at the enumeration area, was from the mapping process. And the mapping process is not that to capture the rest of population, either being children or an old person or young person. We are not there to carry uh, to capture those people. Our technicality for the mapping process, uh, for, uh, especially the, creating an EA, we considered at uh, the range of household head. These household heads are people who are responsible for every each house. For example, we might be in the four rooms. For example, me, I, my sister, and any other, we occupy four room space. But like seriously, then four room space here, where we all occupy, and then at the feed by myself, me now one pot, me now one family head. When the mapping process guy, they capture me directly. When I go to my sister, my sister, they feed by me directly. So it means my sister should not be captured. They only they capture under me on pot. You understand? Then the two are independent. They stay by themselves, they feed by themselves. You understand? So the mapping process captured three structure, three households, I mean. They captured three households immediately. And when you look within that, now that information you detect directly for be a guide to the enumerator. So when the enumerator, they come, if they can look at the name exactly for the mapping process, say, I can't meet Mr. Bori. And Mr. Bori, now one of the man who I can't talk with, now number 50 Blama Road. And this number 50 Blama Road, Mr. Bori, now 001. 
as a structure normally goes by structure. Now they can't talk with. And when they can't talk to Mr. Bowie now, I get what we call the household roster. The household roster is just like a register. <laughs> we are in all the one they went and they under me ports. Now the name there, they outline everything. When I outline the name then, I get to outline them by category. We are in, and they call me name first as the household head. The second one should be my wife, if I have a wife. Then the third one should be the elder son. Then the fourth one should be depend on the number of people you have under your pot or under your regime. Okay. And then people okay. are exactly the census they capture. So I want to make me bother understand, say, we not, a, we, not, we not get any specific figure in terms of that area. I already give you technically under the mapping issues. So the mapping issue will watch from 80 to 120 households. Within community, we cut them. So that within one community, we'll be able to get like four years, five years, or six years based on that counting. <laughs> um, thank you very much. This is not the problem where you can't find Plaba with a professional in the area and then they take you on the extra mile. Many, many thanks, Mr. Boy. But again, yes, um, um, I thank God I don't pay Lily attention at the chat room. Let us move on you know, here to something realistic because when they come towards the um, um, end um, of, the, um, of this particular very, very um, um, interesting <coughs> program. Okay. Um, in terms of um, um, the job, the job description, um, it's obvious that you get for advertise a job position for professional people them or who they get for interview them get for determine who they are the professional um, people them. Before you de join statistics Sierra Leone, do you need for have you know yeah, some kind of an experience like making ask generally in a job within the experience? Do you need to have some kind of job, job experience under your sleeve? Yeah, of course. You mean the permanent job? You mean the internal job? Yes, the or this contract or this contract. No, no, I mean the, 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 the permanent, permanent job. job, the internal yeah, job. Of, of course. Yeah. Of course, you do. You must. Okay, so you do. So eventually you get employed on the basis um, um, of merit. What are the expectations? And the reason why I ask this, remember, say it sounds a little, there's an irony there. We employ you on the basis of waiting. We understand you represent. Yeah, of course. Of yeah. course. Yet we employ you and we bring you can in. From that point in time, now what are the expectations? If you can just make All a short right. short, because I got two questions. <laughs> no, no, no I don't. I don't understand. Might just summarize yeah. them. From that point in time, when we employ somebody in statistics, when I was employed, might just read me credentials. At first, I get masters in population statistics. Right? I get first degree BSc in development and economics. They I get certificate in business administration. They also have a certificate on data quality management by USAID and other certificates given to me by various consultants that we have visited Statistics Reunion based on my technicality, based on my expertise, based on my discussions, based on the follow-up, based on the trainings we undergo at various categories, these are the things. So I just want to make it clear to people out there, say, when you want to go to statistics, you must entail all these credentials. If you fail it, it means you should not be part of the mantle because statistics is a very technical institution that a figure missing, you have killed the whole Sierra Leone. So we don't want to joke with it. Okay. So, so make I ask you this in a short, short answer now I want. So no problem, sir. you have to get, you, is it true that you get forget like two years of um, um, experience for let you become a member of Statistics Sierra Leone, for let you get them potential in the, at least two years of experience? Will that be correct? Yes, 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 yes. The experience all count on, the, on, on research or surveys. The experience should be, you know, just count statistics by ampic without having no experiences. You know, just come on a bank, you say you're a banker, then you go say you want to go statistics to you. No, you should so, have been playing with things. So, you should okay. have understand exactly Mr. Bori, Mr. Yes. Bori, there's a reason why I ask you this, and now we become very critical because we come towards the end of the program. So we know say okay. we program not to talk no more, we'll be one for talk. So exactly. if these were the criteria, and then we get a new set, remember, over 200 mm -hmm. statisticians, Statistics Reunions 
were fired off their jobs. The one they wouldn't bring come in, did they fit the bill? Did they meet the requirement? <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> but Mark, Mark can make them very short, very quick, right? I just yep. want to tell people they say, the man we did now as chairman for statistics value, he has been at that institution as a director. He has been there as a former director. You understand? He has been with us, and when the, 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 when he retired, he finally decided to concentrate into politics. He did by the side of the SLPP. Joining the SLPP, he was the individual that the SLPP be the same for who represents them, but statistics business. Because usually statistics alone, they call on various political representatives and various representatives from various groups for can represent them, for see exactly what in the portrait. Okay. This man be done the witness. Sam. At okay. the end of the day, when this man come back, I'm coming, sir. When he come back, he begin come with some dirty remarks. We are too plenty in this place. Our days during 2004, we are just 80 countrywide. No, no. Why the mm, 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 I, I get for I get for bring you come back. I, I, I can assure you this that I will bring you back, and we go talk about yeah. the little bits and pieces and politics of which exactly. this can devolve into. But for today, All right. I want to present the justice to the people and for understanding so the guest who we bring is kind of quite a professional. He fits the bill. He's got the requirements. He get the requirements where the statistics ask for. Then we will come to that exactly. again shortly. We are promised before we end this particular program. Mr. Bori, statistics yes, as we understand, need forget like two year planning before the census counting process. There are two aspects of which they go on now. Now we get, I know if you want to go beyond, I want to talk about where we are now. Where we are now, the personnel them will and don't give this process, you know, you have to go forward with. Do they have this criteria? Do they have this potential? Do they have the requirements or do they fit the requirements as required by statistics here alone? Example that you get forget two year planning before the census counting process. What say you, sir? Okay, I think we both are frozen. Yeah. The point where I've been trying to make fumble is this statistics, Sigalion, then get for be professionally, you, you know, yeah, in tune with the requirements of the job. So what he mean, I mean understanding is you get for two get for get two years of planning before the census, especially where you get for deal with something regarding the counting process. And what will they see when they ask the question, all the one they will employ during this midterm, do they meet that bill? Unfortunately, <coughs> we don't lose the brother. Okay, I think he's back. Yeah, brother, yeah. you're back. Are you? Yeah, I'm, I am. I am. I am. Okay, I don't think say you get the last question, but let's see whether I'm able for paraphrase them very quickly. So, for let you become somebody within statistics, Sierra Leone, of course, it's a professional organization. You get for meet certain criteria. One of them, not for able for const. Okay. You need to get under your belt two years, and I repeat, two years yes, of expertise. planning. Yes, before the census and accounting process. So the argument today, now Una we fall in that category day yesterday, and the others then we in that category day today. Those that fall in the category yesterday, of course, they are already established in terms of the census criteria. Do you think say the one that today they meet that criteria? That's short. No, 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 no. They don't ever meet the criteria because if they, if they meet the criteria, we know what they expect the census for the swing this way. And also the due process is exactly what they expect the census for go like way in order to go the manner. You understand? If okay. the census really the swing, then the professionalism really not the portray on them. You understand? Okay. We actually okay. get challenges in that situations. Okay, that's fair. That's fair enough. I get a couple of questions for ask you. I needed for ask for in a short period of time. I will give you time when necessary. But if you can close them down quickly, that will be fine because of time constraint. Statistics need for advertise various job positions 
after the two-thirds majority approval in the parliament? Have they done so as far as you're concerned? Because you are very well, well informed, sir. No, I don't think so. Because if they did that, I don't see reason for me the strong opposition party debunk. The secondly, if it was only the APC that debunked this instrument, we for not send a sentiment say it is political. But other various political parties send in voice, say no, we should not be part of part and parcel of this. We have to advise our people. So immediately I say and say no. The majority in a parliament no ever accept them. Because if they accept them, trust me, an officer if all the things they happen, so if for don't they happen. I don't think so. I'm not at parliament, but I'm saying it from the professional point of view. Okay. Let's look at the process briefly, both in the then and the now. So before the census, what thing that we understanding is there is a normal first observe, observing of a mapping process at a regional level, a district level, a chiefdom level, and a sectional level. In this particular instance, this is why it's called for, but in this particular instance, have we observed anything like that, like procedural? Okay, I think, okay. So I think we've lost him again. But the point that I was trying to make is that before the census or any census, what it normally can first of all happen is there is an observation of a mapping process, both at the regional level, not only the regional level, but the district level, and not only at the district level, but the chiefdom level and the sectional level as well. And usually the mapping process previously was done within a period of two years. And this all get for do with the situation in which the country finds itself now. Are we in the situation in which what was then is true of what is now? The answer, as much as I am informed and part of, is no. The answer is no. So we just don't lose, we, um, um, we guessed. But I want to say this, Fambulem. I really want to say this. We can go on and on. And this program get for continue at some point. It's a complete distraction, a complete distraction. And we get it. There are few of us who actually gets it. How do we get it? Because the other side is not being sincere. And they want to create an argument in which it is against A and B, which some of us refuse to accept, because that's not the argument that we want. So here is the thing. The audit report outstanding for which the Auditor General was suspended has come out. It's not in the program today, but we just want for let one know that every time they report they are come out or they come out. There is a deliberate attempt of the other side. It's italic say we fool. Not all of us are stupid. Not, not every one of us are stupid. Italic say the other side, they use this occasion deliberately for distract me from the reality of the matter. Not the first day they happen, it will happen many times. This is major. Billions and billions of leons unaccounted for. But let me say, let me say, the Auditor General, no lequi. And if we say that, will we equally be able to ask the question, let we say, but even though in no lequi, do we have an obligation for ask or for provide evidence for show say what we have been accused of is not true? Have we? This is it. I come up from an investigative background. So sometimes the question that I ask are, of, are informed from that investigative background. So even though we try for excuse, we on side say, oh, now which hunt? Oh, what they are doing to us is not right. Have we asked the question as to why is it? Why is it? The report don't come out and it's damning of government. That Umaru Fofana, a journalist that supported, and I say this again, with all due respect, as much as I admire and love the young man, I say this, and he knows that, that he supported the Mother Bio government for a length of time. Some of the things the way he survived on from the earliest moment is because Umaru Fofana 
that clout we've been on build, that respect that he had, he used them and shield the government. And they used them to a point of time. But it's come to that point now where he don't dissociate himself from them and he's backed off. He's no longer with them. And they call him as it is. And such is the report recently where he say, this is not right. This is wrong. And it's not like we don't know this. We know this. And that's just a fact. Ladies and gentlemen, we can go on and on and on. But today, what we mean to talk about is the full way a government they try for full way just doesn't work. I get into this problem all of the time. Tonight, before I come on program, and after I don't come on this program, probably there are many messages that I will not have seen. Last week, the week before last, this week, yesterday, day before yesterday, I get attacked all the time. But the question that I ask is like, um, not to that crass way how people in the look at, because you they support. I will support, but I want to support on the basis of tangibility, on the basis of um, employability. Have you employed our people? Are our people making money? Are they able to cope with the social inequities, injustices that are happening in our country? These are the questions that I ask. But unfortunately, in the balance of some, it's like, um, once you ask those questions, once you become critical of the current regime, then of course you are doing this only because you belong to the other. And I disagree. This is not true. And I get vindicated all of the time. We go make this argument on this basis on a different day. But this is what I feel. And as I talk to Una tonight, I feel so good. Even though we lost, we guessed, but he's done so well. What's in the midterm census? Yes, the president has got a right because now this night they try for use against me. Everything we didn't say potentially good for Sierra Leone. You guys are condemning. But how did I condemn this midterm census? And if I did, why? You can forget that investigative background, don't get carried away because there are very few people, a handful of people, they know the truth, but they try for use the rest of we as pawns, as if we don't understand. I disagree. We do understand. Every time when something they come up, like the report will just come up, they try for distract we, whether or not the arrest of somebody, the possibility for letting them shoot somebody, kill somebody, is right on the table. Really? Really? <laughs> you can fool some people sometimes. You can fool some of the people some of the time. But you cannot fool all of the people all of the time. And at that position, they, now we're in. All of this is not strange to me. I get attacked all of the time. And not only me, my family. My wife, my good wife, she gets attacked all of the time. And I have to explain, it's like, babes, this is what I'm into. Unfortunately, a holy of I beg you, but it's simply because this is what I'm doing. Even though you are not interested in politics, but try to come and look at and think about what I'm saying in the cause of humanity and see how far-fetched I am, how wrong could I be? And gradually, there's a some kind of an understanding but fumble and this is it the report don't come out about you know the state of the economy fy 2020 report don't come out there's not much that comes as a surprise to us do we the auditor general was fired i call him fired the suspension at trick and a game and then they try for play with we because you can't call and fire fire and for waiting. So you put on suspension and you create some tribunal at the expense of taxpayer money, all the little tactics there. Because why they think say we so below the ladder, we don't think. And every time we continue for proof to them that we do think. So let me suspend the man because of the report. The report don't come in, don't come out. Does not Lara Tilopias feels vindicated by the report? Because she was only writing a report in which she's not alone. It's a parliamentary report. She has to forward it to parliament. She has to go there and defend it. And then the president, above all, we know, 
they do this rubbish that you go North Korea or South, South Korea. And because honest by Coroma, this is the greatest irresponsible statement that I have ever heard in the history of my life. Within the presidency of the Republic, that he goes on side and refuses for Guyan admission. And it's Timap Nado, the president of a country, which shows that the man not even understand irresponsibility or what in the presidency mean. That it Timap Nado, because he endorsed the statement, normally I can try for excuse them because other people try for use them in that respect. But in Sessam, it Timap Nado, they arrange all things before finally they go inside. Does it work that way, Mr. President? What idiocy? Anyway, all said and done, the challenges are many. The Sierra Leonean people will have to make a decision. We have to commend Mr. Cherno Alpha Emba. Had it not been for him, I wonder how much people like us who are in the media and just the ordinary Joe will have realized the predicament we refer ourselves in. Cherno Ba is exceptional. I've had the arguments on various platforms for many, for, yeah, and the conviction, I don't know, even know how to explain them. Nobody no get for, try for bullying me into thinking in what I think because I'm very rational and I understand the brother in position. When I watch out for me tweet tomorrow, I will be tweeting this miasma we didn't call corruption, which is a good thing, but use them as a political tool. But family, I really need for end. Okay, I think that the border we we lost is still coming on. Yeah, we lost you, brother. I don't have a good in say nothing. Back to back. No, no, that's that's okay. That's that's okay. I mean, just forget about this now because we've done. You've done actually well. What do we go do? La just, um, la just mute this microphone on which we talk on, yeah? Give me a chance, la just, you know, and only for... Okay, Fambulem, this effectively brings me to an end of the program. There's a number of us who have tuned in, and there's a reason why. I respect Una, I hold Una on a high esteem, Una let we shape this program, Una share Una sentiments and Una thoughts. Anything Una not agree with, Una make a known. Goodbye for now. Thank you very much.